see? Two litres to kilolitres. Okay, litres to kilolitres. We're going from small to large. This time we divide. So we divide two by a thousand, which will become 0 0.002, isn't it? Now again, in scientific notation, it will be two times 10 to the power of negative three. Because if I put the decimal there, I have to go backwards three space, three places to go back to the original spot. So it's gonna be 10 to the power of negative three. But guys, you should already know this stuff, okay? So this is what we've done very, very long ago. D, okay, liters to kilolitres, same conversion, so we're gonna divide by a thousand again, which will make a really, really small number with lots of zeros. We're gonna have zero point, all that zero, one, five. Again, in scientific notation, I wanna put the decimal after the first non-zero number. So I'm gonna put the decimal there after one, one. So it's gonna be 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative five. Because you can see, if I put the decimal there, I go about one, two, three, four, five, to go back to the original spot, so it's negative five on the power. All right, so that was D. Megaliters to kiloliters, so large to small, we must times, times by a thousand, which will become something like this. So again, I wanna put the decimal in front of the first number, and it'll have to multiply by 10 to the power of four to get back to the original spot. Okay, megaliters to kiloliters. Megaliters to kiloliters, same conversion, times by a thousand, okay? Which will make 211,000 kiloliters. So if I put the decimal in front of the first number, I'll have to go one, two, three, four, five places to go back to the original spot. So it's gonna be 2.11 times 10 to the power of five, okay, kiloliters. Convert the following in scientific notation correct into two significant figures. So as well as putting it in scientific notation, I want to put the answer in two significant figures. So you're going to be extra careful with this. Okay, again, we've got my diagram. Milliliters to kiloliters. We're going to divide because it's small to large. So we divide by a thousand and a thousand again, like that. Which means we divide by a million. So go back six places, which will look like that. Now I want to put my decimal in front of three, so we'll have to go back four places to go back to the original spot. But guys, I want to put the answer to two significant figures. So do your usual thing, like what we did in the part in the previous question, and now round it to two significant figures. So two significant figures, we start from the first number and go one, two. See the next number is greater than five. So I'm gonna round the one up to two. So it's gonna be 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative four. Okay, but significant figures again, you should be very good at this. Okay, again, milliliters to kiloliters, we do the same thing, divide by a thousand two times, which will be looking like this. Okay, because it's small to large. Now we've got lots of zeros, so I wanna put the decimal there. So it's gonna look like this, 1.23 times 10 to the power of negative seven, because it's going back seven places. Now again, two significant figures. So we go one, two, but three is less than five, so I don't have to round up two. So it's just gonna be 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative seven, okay? 51 centiliters to kiloliters. Centiliters, small to large. So we divide by 100 and divide by 1,000, like that. So we're gonna go back by one, two, three, four, five decimal places. So, like that. And then put the decimal in front of the five. We have to go back one, two, three, four places. So it's 5.1 times 10 to the power of negative four. And then D, okay, again, same conversion. So we'll divide by 100, divide by 1,000 again. So go back by five decimal points. So it's gonna be 0 0.0459. But in scientific notation, put the decimal there, and then we have to go back one, two places. So it's gonna be 4.59 times 10 to the power of negative two, because we're going backwards, okay?